Hi guys and welcome to the first Predictor 11 of the 2021-22 season. It's time to put the team to clear wing on the opening day, so let's get started. In goal, Leibers, the reason why, because yes, because we went with Anthony Patterson, but I went with Leibers just because the Patterson was a bit sticky, like, in the, like, friendlies, like, especially the last one, and I don't want to put too much pressure, like, on the young lads yet. I might play him in the cup again, probably in the... In midweek, and Bird kept it in clean station league one last season, so he is really a solid goalkeeper. He's going to make some mistakes, so yeah. Right back, Carl Winchester. The reason why I obviously still have no right backs after Conor McLaughlin got released and local Knights now playing midfield, I will go with Carl Winchester because he did well in pre season when he was playing there. And he got a goal against Harrogate and was like good and was good against Hull. And as well, I don't really say him like. Like, I can only say him being back up to local 9 and Corey Evans anyway, so, so, until we get a, and I think that's where most of the playing time will come up until we get a right back, so yeah. Right centre back, Bailey Wright, the reason why it was, this is probably the hardest one to pick, it was between um, Bailey Wright and Tom Flanagan, I went with Bailey Wright because I think he's just a better defender than Tom Flanagan, without any disrespect to Tom Flanagan, and I think he'll do even though they're being linked with move away, I still think Wright should play it and the front of it against Wigan. And I think Doyle will bang off it even more from Wright than flanking, as Wright's a good talker and they like, like, pretty much help you through the game, so yeah. Left centre back, um, Callum Doyle. The reason why Callum Doyle's been brilliant in pre in season, like, like, has run the defence, like, he's a brave defender, everything's wanting, yeah. Just on the other two defenders, Willis and Jamasley. Willis, I don't expect to play at all this season, like with Aiden and Dwayne. Jamasley, I think, will be back, but just not like until about late September, early October, if I had to guess. So, yeah. Left back, Daniel, but obviously, don't have a left back, although there's been rumours like of a, the Spurs lad jogging, I don't know, I can't remember his name, and, and then for him, still need to be my mother to sign a new contract and he's injured anyway. The reason why I played Dan Neal because again he's like played left back and pre season and hasn't disgraced himself. And Lay Johnson really does rate Dan Neal because he's like played he played most in pre season and I think that he did enough in the games he's played because he's did well in pre season to get a start on the opening day, so yeah. Um first centre mid to Corby Evans and our new captain the reason why I think Corby Evans from Blackburn would be a good life sign in this season. And like a bit like Grant Ledbetter where he's just that, that person in the engine room where like doesn't do necessarily the fancy stuff but he does like like the stuff that you need and I think he he wouldn't have made my choice to be captain. But I don't think it's a bad choice because he's experienced, he plays sixty five times for his company. Um, I think he spent seven of his eight saves the Blackburg in the Championship or so that he spent most of his career in the Championship and I think that would be a good sign and, and they're the day thing is 31 to the point where you're not necessarily like young anymore but you but you shouldn't be past it so yeah. Then next to him, lo Local 9. The reason why was big that Local 9 signed a new contract over the summer. And I think now he can finally get his chance in centre midfield. Well, let's be honest, he deserves it after playing like right back, centre back, left back, pretty much in the back four. And I think that he'll do well this season. And I personally think he'll be one of the best box box midfielders in League One. So yeah, right wing Lyndon Goats. The reason why I don't think Lyndon Goats had necessarily a great season last season, like, but he did end up in like um got nine assists. What was I think the fifth most in the league last season. I don't think it was helped by the manager like throwing him around everywhere. But I think this season if we can get goats like playing to how we know we can, it'll be a big threat for us and it'll be probably one of the best players like Ali Ali as he can always chip him with a goal or chip him with an assist. So yeah. Cam Elliot Embleton. The reason why of course like he, he went on loan to Blackpool in the second half of last season and helped them get promoted and and did really well there, of course to the point where Blackpool wanted him back. But I think he's going to steer and fight, like, come back and, like, hopefully help us get promoted. And he has came back a be better player than what he left us, I think. And, and he did great in pre season to the point where he got a couple of goals against Harrogate, like, got an assist against Hull, what was a great pass. And I think Elliot Embleton will be a big player for us this season. And I personally 
going to go out on a limb. Elliot Embleton would be our smooth back player this season. So, yeah. Left wing is McGeady. The reason why it was great that he signed a new contract as well. I think he ended with eating assists last season, what was the most in the life, in not just in League One, but in the whole of England. And it'll be big once again for us this season, even though he's a 35. And for me, I still do think McGeady's the best player in the division. So, yeah. Then striker Ross Stewart. Of course, we lost Charlie White in the summer, and we yet to replace him to Wigan, obviously, right well. But I think Ross Stewart, like, has had a good play season, like, got got the goal against Hull, Ross should boost his, like, confidence. And I do think he's all around a better footballer than Charlie White, like, hold up play, like. I think while White would just get in the box and wouldn't, like, contribute with the play, I think Stewart would contribute. He might get less goals, like, 15, but I also think he would com contribute with the play, so yeah. Then on the bench, I would have Anthony Patterson, Tom Flanagan, Alex Pritchard, Josh Hawks. Jack Diamond, Aidan O'Brien and Will Grigg. So yeah, so my score prediction. Obviously, Wigan have improved drastically this season with players coming in. Uh, but, and they've had a good pre-season. But are they unbeatable? No. Are they scary? No. And I do think Sunderland will open the season with a 1-0 wing on Wigan Athletic. And I will see a Ross Stewart will get his first goal of the season. So yeah, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Leave your predicted 11, leave your score prediction in the comments. So yeah, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, view, comment and see. Yeah.